Oh, I'm so gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Because I didn't turn off my blood magic. Alright, it's up to you guys now. Oh my gosh. Rage demons, really? I don't need this right now. You gotta be kidding me. Get away from me. Ah. Rage demon, away from me. Carver. I hope you're... No, no, I don't want to hit... I want to hit this thing. Carver. Potion, please. I need this. Yes. Jeez, where did this demon go? All right, Carver. Ah. Uh, here, have a stun. Stay back. Thank you. Oh, come on. His hit points are really low right now. Don't do this to me. I need I need heal. Can you can you distract him, Barrick? While while Carver heals up. Yeah, Carver, you need to your your hit your potion is almost recharged. Ow. Oh gosh. We're so running out of potion, it's not even funny. Alright, Carver, get him please. In fact, get his get your stamina up. I want you to use your most powerful attacks right now. You too, Varric. He's almost dead. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, I don't want you to be No, I don't want you to be unstuck. Carver? Carver, attack him, please. Alright, potion, potion, potion. Oh, dear lord. Maker's breath. These... Oh, I can't believe... This thing is almost dead, and he's still not... Ah! Die! the love of the maker. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my gosh, you guys. That was not easy for me. I can't believe that I... I can't believe that I got it on the first try, though, on hard. Yikes. This better be good. Three health potion. Okay, good. Health potion is good. Icor, plus 74 attack... Plus 5 mana, stamina regeneration, 100% of basic attack damage versus enemies that attack in melee. That's pretty good. Um, smite. Ooh. This one's for plus 1 magic, plus 11% fire magic, plus 11% electricity magic, and spirit damage. Yeah, spirit damage. Okay. We're gonna need injury kits for you and an injury kit for you. Oh my gosh, that was not an easy fight. I'm proud of myself for not giving up, though. I could have easily given up, but I just was like, no, I'm just using up all my health potions, because that's why they gave them to us. Um, Does anyone here... Nah, I don't think I can... Yeah, I don't think I, I need to give smite to anyone. How about Icor? Regeneration rate. Um... Yeah, see, I like I like that Carver has that immunity to stun. Plus, I kind of want to give it to Clive. Yeah. Plus five mana, stamina regeneration. But I do want I do want my non mana to come back faster than not. Although, no, I feel like I should give this to Anders because Anders has more mana problems than I do. Yeah, give Anders the I core. I think I'll be happy with that. And then you can have um yeah. Ring of the Magister. 
No gallery, the slave cuff rings. Yeah. Okay. Whew, that was a tough fight. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's grab all the spoils of our... Spoils of our battle. So that was a Vernus. A very annoying... Very annoying dragon. It could have been so much worse if he didn't A, stay in that center area where we were able to trip the traps, and B, if he didn't get stuck here, it probably would have been a lot more difficult. So, count my blessings, I guess. I don't think I would have been able to beat him if it wasn't for those two things. Whew. Alright. Let's move onward. So now we have to march our way all the way back to where we were. Alright. Come on, come on. So, just to guys let you know, um, I've been talking to my two LP friends, two of my LP friends, uh, Shali and Reclusiarch, and um, I've been wanting to do a project with them, the three of us, for a while. And so I thought what would be really cool is if we kind of got together and sort of did a, not really a podcast, because I think we would be recording it ahead of time, not live, but essentially sit down and record ourselves talking and discussing Dragon Age Inquisition specifically, um, and just give our thoughts about the information that's already been released. So um, I'm not sure how soon we're going to be recording that, but I'm hoping that by the time you hear, th by the time this video is released, that it won't be that much, that much, um, I'm running out, I'm getting lost. It won't be uh, that much longer. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to pull that off and um, hopefully it'll be a very interesting discussion because I think that both of them are very insightful and I'm really curious to find out their opinions about some of the stuff that we've learned already so far about the game. And I can't even believe it's still... It's a year. The game looks great. And it's only a year. It's not only. It is a whole year before it comes out, which for me, I think that's awesome because it gives them so much time to really polish it even further than it already looks like it is. So I was hoping that I would have gotten enough experience from that boss to open this. Since when can I do that? But I don't think Varric leveled. Yeah, Varric didn't level, so not so much. So we're just going to keep going onward. Let's see what we get down here. Whoa. The hawk's blood. The master will rise. He will be free. Who are you? Garav? Garav? Eric? No, no one told me you would be part of this. We were just going after the hawk. Why do you guys keep calling me the hawk? What do you people want anyway? Why has the carter been attacking me? I can't say. The master must be free. Really, Garav? I thought better of you than this. I mean, gutting the occasional competitor for fun and profit, that's the game. But what are you all even doing here? Worshipping demons? We drink the Darkspawn blood. He calls us. You Wait, you guys drink Darkspawn blood? Are you guys ward Grey Wardens? Why would you do that? Won't you just die? It's the only way to hear the music. Uh... Oh, come on, you nug licker. Snap out of it. There's no gold in hallucinating. When he mentioned, when Garav mentioned something about hearing the music, it immediately made me think of uh, the Rachni from Mass Effect. I kind of feel like that was on purpose, too. Manners, Varric. Introduce me to your lunatic friend. <laughs> Hawk, this is Garav. He's a greedy, brilliant bastard son of a nug from the Carter. Uh -huh. Garav, this is Hawk. The one whose blood you want to drink, or bathe in, or whatever. Oh my gosh. But if you're after eternal youth, I've got to tell you, he's no virgin. Eric. The master is calling. He needs the blood. Garav, buddy. This isn't like you. Look, I've still got Bianca. Never misfired a day in her life. You don't want her to see her papa like this, do you? See her papa like this? Are you are you saying, Varric, that are you saying that Garav made Bianca? Varric, 
You want to spare this bastard? Not if he's after you, Hawk. Aww. Bianca, I think it's time to say goodbye. Ooh. Reinforcements, you bastard. That was really sweet of Varric to say, not if he's, you know, not if he's after you. That, that was very sweet. I'm so touched, Varric. We're so, oh, I love you, man. I love you, Varric. All right, let's take out your, take, let's take out your buddy here. All right, come on. Here, have a cloud. Have some more. Oh, you like that, Agarov? Here. Take that. Let's bring out Steve. Uh, we can we can continue we can continue attacking Garav. Um there we go. Let's see. Oh. Can we line it up? so that I can hit them both. Oh, I don't have... Oh, I don't have the stamina left. We really need to get Varric more stamina right after we increase his hunting so we can unlock things now. Come on! Beautiful. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh I used to do business with the Carta, back in the day. Garav was a nutcase then too, but in a good way. Mm. He was trying to design a new type of repeating crossbow. Bianca was the only one that ever worked. Oh. I can't believe he ended up like that. So Bianca was... So Garav was the person who invented Bianca. That's, that's kind of sad that we had to take him out. Superior robes and turquoise ring of the Archon. Ooh, this one's for Varric. Plus one dexterity, plus two percent critical chance, bonus to evade traps. How about bonus to unlock doors? Plus two percent chance to stealth when hit. Oh, that's that's really good for Varric. He definitely needs that. Um Yeah, let's give him that. Um and I believe that one of the things that we found was the footsteps of the silent one. I believe this is a new armor set. Yes. 54 armor, 16 defense, plus 5 mana stamina regeneration rate requires 25 match. Okay. Yeah, this is a new armor set. So I think I'm going to start giving Clive the footsteps of the silent one. The silent one set. Black and great axe. All right, Carver. Let's keep moving forward. Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh. Coterie Alchemist. Oh, jeez, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Um, first of all, let's... Oh, invincible. He just made himself invincible. Oh no, 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 no. All right, we're gonna... Away from Anders, punk. Um, here, have a fist. Oh, oh no, oh no, no, no. Um, Carver, you need to get out of there now. And Varric, yeah, Varric is safe, I think. Anders, take, yeah, take that and heal. Yeah, heal. Thank you. And get these guys off your back, please. All right, we need to take these guys out fast. What are you? What are you doing, Clive? Don't just stand there. Here, put these guys. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Um, here. Beric. Ah, these guys. Somebody order a shot in the face? Uh, that alchemist is still.
still that alchemist and that overseer are gonna be a problem. Gotta keep, gotta keep trying to stun them. It's all right, it's all right, Clive. You're a blood mage. It'll be okay. Oh yeah, he's a blood mage. Hold on. Let me add this debuff. And use some blood magic. I said use some blood magic. Like right now. Right here. Oh jeez. Carver's about to go down. I need I need to get my heels up. Go, Anders, go, Anders, go. I don't have Jeez. Uh Overseer. Can I control the overseer? That would be really great right now. I guess not. Oh! Oh, oh. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Why can I not tell Clive to go over there? Here. I will take Clive over there. Varric, you might want to go back here a little bit more, just in case. Okay. You, sir, are getting on my last nerve. Alright. Take out the Carta as fast as you can. Carta's still going down. It's alright, I got you, bro. There we go. Beautiful. That alchemist. I gotta stun him again. There we go. Thank goodness he went down. Alright. Soon it's just gonna be the- Oh! Sheesh. Yeah, why don't you just go at- Here, Carver, just go attack him, please. Just knock him out. That would be pleasant, very pleasant. Get off of me. Beautiful. Now all we have left is the alchemist. Wherever he went. There he is. Alright. Debuff. Entropy. Don't fail me now. Are you trying to heal yourself? Not so fast. Oof. Alright. Not nearly as tough as the I'll whatever that Alvernus or whatever his name is um, but still a good challenge this is a uh, legacy really is a very challenging DLC they certainly bumped it up a bit and I'm trying really hard not to um, not to uh, decrease the difficulty from hard if I can help it Carver, all right. I need I need you to get up here, please. You're you're sort of our tank, kind of. Return to no, I don't need to return to Kirkwall. I think I'm good. Ah, they told me you were going to be trouble. Who are you? And look, you brought the whole family. How generous! I swore to Corypheus we'd bring him Malcolm Hawk's blood, one way or the other. Are you the leader of the Carta? So it's Corypheus who's after me. What Corypheus wants, Corypheus gets. I'm sure. From us, or from someone. What does this have to do with my father? The Master wants you. I don't ask why. Uh, yeah. Corypheus wants some blood. Sure, let me just open a vein. How about a kidney, too? Corypheus, we have done as you command. Your sacrifice is here! You will see the surface once more! Oh, okay. Oh, Bronto. Oh, Rat again. That is the leader. Alright, uh, oh, here in. Um. Maybe if I. That Bronto is gonna be a huge problem really quickly. Can I, um. Pin him, maybe? Ooh. 
Oh, where there's a trap there. There's a trap there. Um, Anders, can you activate the trap? See what happens. Oh. Yeah, whoever whoever is going up there. That's and no, not Anders. The, uh, Harbor. Whoa, Radigan! Oh my gosh. Can we? Yeah, it's Radigan. Just stay right there. Oh, ow. And, oh, Anders, get away, get away, get away. Oh, just got stunned. Uh, Varric, activate the trap again while they're right there. Please. Oh, heck yes. Yes, look at how much hit points they're losing. Um. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, Varric. Oh, my gosh. This is not good. Oh, Anders, get out of the way. Ah! You need a potion. What the heck? Drink a potion, Varric. Oh, man. Somebody tripped the trap. I think Radigan's dead, at least. No, Radigan's still up there. Varric, I told you to take a potion. Oh, I guess it didn't matter. We're so dead. Oh, this is not good. It started off really well, too. It started off so well, and it just ended badly. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to restart this. I don't think this is... Oh! Uh. Yeah. I thought that we had, I thought we had it, because since Radigan was staying right there. Alright, let's try this again. First of all, stay stunned, you pin this guy, and I don't want you charging at us, so go over. Anders, thank you. Um, there we go. Uh, Oh my gosh, you hit hard! Oh! That's not cool. Varric, hit it again, hit it again, please. We're gonna bring back Hawk again. All right. Oh, Brannigan. Good. Brannigan's dead. Nice. Now we just need to get the here. Get over here, you Bronto. Varric, can you not engage all of these snipers at once, please? This is a death trap, Varric. Sooner rather than later. Yeah, Varric. Can you taunt him over here, brother? Like, right over here. Um, and then as you... Here, hold position. Hold part. Oh no. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. I was trying to time it. That didn't work out very well. It's okay, he's almost down. Take him out. Good. Oof. All right. Much better. This is much better than before. I think it's time to break out with the blood magic. Um. Uh, let's control the Carta Sniper. Let's hemorrhage over here. You need to heal Varric. I'm about to go down. Sheesh. Come on, Grave Robber. Oh, Grave Robber didn't really do much. It's okay. We beat the bot we beat the two main guys, so I think we'll be fine. 
I, I, I didn't want to waste any more of the potions. If we could if we could avoid it. I got you. I got you, bro. Guys, Ooh. oh, what the? Yikes, what is this? I can feel it inside me. The enchantment needed to do that. What did Father know? This is going to take me to Corypheus. Mm -hmm. The Carta's leader, Ratigan, held a magical key which used to belong to Malcolm's hawk. Use it to enter the tunnels at the back of the Carta hideout and pursue the mysterious creature Corypheus. So, this thing on the back of Hawk's. This thing on the Hawk's back is the key. Where was Ratigan hiding this thing? How in the world did he fit this on his... Wait, did he put this in his wallet? What the heck? So, right now the key is a staff. Um, and depending on your class, the key could be a staff, it could be daggers, or or a long sword, heavy sword, or... I don't really remember. I think it can be any weapon, really. Um, depending on your class. Plus three magic. Let's. Oh, now we level up. Now Barrick levels up so that he can finally open, open locked doors. But unfortunately, we can't go back to that previous area anymore. Oh, I'm just gonna finish up and get cunning, just so I know that. I think the maximum cunning you need to unlock every single lock in the game that you can unlock is 40. So I've already done that. All right, Barrick. Now that we've Let's. Hail of arrows now sweeps across a greater area of the battlefield and slows most enemies to a crawl. Yeah, I want that. Clive. Um. How much magic do I need for a lure? Just a curiosity. 30. 34. So. Yeah, you have a ways to go as far as magic is concerned. Um, hemorrhage now inflicts more damage and immobilizes some enemies, which is really nice. I like an immobilize. Staggered. But I really want to increase my force magic. Telekinetic burst. The mage summons a wave of telekinetic force that hurdles enemies away from the core of the blast. I'll take that. Carver. Uh, your hit points are okay. You need an injury kit. Carver, Carver, Carver. Um, let's go ahead and start giving Carver his new new armor and stuff. So, let's give him Dissension, which looks really awesome. And we'll give him back his Seeker of the Grey because that's more powerful than the brother's end. Okay. And... Let's see, what else? We're gonna run out of... We're gonna run out of inventory space, I just know it. I tried my best to empty it as much as possible, but... Um, Carver, let's give you more... Do I wanna give you more strength? I don't know. I kind of want to give you more stamina, to be perfectly honest. Because, oh, oh, actually, your cunning actually increases your defense a good amount, so I might as well increase your cunning a little bit. Righteous Strike. The Templar's weapon is in instilled with righteous energy. Each strike has a chance to prevent the enemy from activating abilities for a short... Oh, that's really nice. In lingering silence, the Templar surrounds the foe with negative energy, preventing the enemy from activating abilities for a short time. Ooh. I think I like the passive one more, though. Anything I don't have to babysit is a plus. 
For you, Anders, I need to increase your magic as well. Yeah. Alright. What else do I want to give Anders? Uh, I can give him Pyromancer. Long practice with wielding flame in uh, increases all magic damage, all fire damage that the mage inflicts, including base attacks, no fire staff. That looks... that sounds like a good one for Anders. Okay. Cracked Snowflake, Obsidian, Time Worn, Walking Stick. Um, there's a lot of traps here. What does this trap do? I'm just curious. Oh! Whoops! Sorry, bro! No wonder Carver hates me so much. Poor Carver. Everything happens to the guy. Alright, note to self, don't just pull activate traps willy-nilly. That actually would have been useful during the boss fight too, had I known. But now we know. Okay. Great. I think we've gotten about everything that we can. Oh, wait a minute, there's one more thing. Rubble in the Bronto's cage. Okay. And I need an injury kit. Why? There we go. I was like, why is why did the injury not go away? But it did. Oh, a sack. Stale biscuit, crack snowflake, 50 silver, okay. Let's head downwards. Hmm. Great. Those sons of bitches. The whole blasted thing sealed over. Ugh. I guess we should have seen that coming. Alright everybody, I think this is actually a really good place for us to stop. So thanks again for watching this episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Tune in next time, everybody, and until then, love yourselves and love each other. <laughs>